Fort Worth police say a man arrested on a tampering with evidence charge for the death of a 12-year-old boy is seen on surveillance trying to clean up the scene and hide the gun used to kill the boy. Last month, Fort Worth police say a three-year-old who got a hold of a gun shot 12-year-old Treshawn Ewens. The kids were at a Juneteenth barbecue. Police say DeCarlos Jordan is seen on camera mopping up blood and taking weapons out of the room where the shooting occurred. Fox Sports' Peyton Yeager spoke with Treshawn's mother and joins us now live. Peyton. Heather, and back on the night of the shooting, Fort Worth detectives found a single shell casing, but no gun. But now we're learning a 35-year-old man is accused of cleaning up the scene before investigators even arrived and stashed the handgun used to shoot Treshawn. You just have to fight and pull yourself together to make it through the rest of the day, but you're on the verge of tears all day. For the past month, Lakeisha Bay has been begging for justice and accountability in the death of her youngest son, Treshawn Ewens. My heart breaks from morning to night. The 12 year old was killed when a three year old got a hold of a loaded gun and accidentally fired it, striking Treshawn. Treshawn was staying with his father for the summer. The two went to a Juneteenth barbecue at a music studio inside a strip mall in Fort Worth. This is someone that has been around Trey, that Trey calls them those guys. He calls them uncles. This week, 35-year-old DeCarlos Jordan was charged with tampering with and removing physical evidence from the scene. According to an arrest affidavit Fox 4 obtained on Wednesday, Jordan was at the barbecue on June 19th. Jordan told officers he heard a loud pop from a different room but didn't know where the gun ended up. Fort Worth detectives checked surveillance cameras. Police say the footage showed Jordan walking into the room where Treshawn was shot and then walking out with a handgun. It also showed him mopping up blood inside and outside the building. And it showed him also removing a rifle before taking off in a vehicle. Disturbing details, Bay says she just learned Wednesday. I don't even know what was going through their minds. like. Trey is literally shot. Like, it was a big deal. Like, uh, clearly an emergency. And the first thing on their minds was to cover their own tail. At Cook Children's Hospital, police say Treshawn's father told investigators Treshawn was inside playing video games and he was outside grilling. After he heard a loud bang, he says Treshawn stumbled into the parking lot holding his side and collapsed. Treshawn's father took him to the hospital where the 12 year old later died. We have reached a small goal, but the battle is nowhere near won, and that's what I'm focused on. Now, it's still unclear who the handgun belonged to. According to the arrest affidavit we obtained today, another male, another adult male, was caught on surveillance moving items out of the room with Jordan. More charges are possible.